Hey there, it's Lisa from Own The Day Planner. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to plan for August 2020 in my A5 Carpe Diem Planner in the color Clover. I'm also currently using Carpe Diem monthly inserts inside of here, so we are just going to jump to it. So if you wanna stick around and see everything that I'm using to set up my month of August in my monthly spread, then keep watching. All right, so before we jump right into the monthly spread, I just wanted to share with you some of these sticker packs that I pulled out to help me do my August 2020 month on two pages spread. So the first one is this Good Vibes mini stickers book. I just picked this up in a recent haul. So if you haven't seen that video yet and you'd love to see all the new goodies that I got from Carpe Diem, then I'll place a card up above and you can check that out. So that is my first sticker book. I'm most likely gonna be using quite a few of these. I also have um, a favorite of mine, which I've been using ever since the warmer weather came around and that's the Happy Planner Botanicals um, sticker book. I really like the vintage florals and the pastels in here and since so it's still summer um, I might pull some of these from here they might come into play. And another thing I like to do from time to time is I pull out this Jim Holtz ideology sticker book that I've had forever, literally for years that I purchased at Michael's a really long time ago. And I find that I use these more in my daily spread deco, but I do sometimes like to pop them into a month on two pages spread. So we'll see, this might come into play. And then I have a few sticker packs that I recently picked up from Peter Popper Press. This one is the Moms Planner sticker, sort of like essentials for moms. Um, lots of great stuff there. And then we have a very similar pack from Peter Popper Press, Wake Up, Kick Ass, Repeat planner stickers. These might come into play as well. And then this new pack that I have yet to use that I picked up really recently and can't wait to start using is the She Believed She Could planner stickers. The thing with these ones is that a lot of the boxes are a little bit too large for the Carpe Diem A5 calendar boxes. So sometimes I'll use something that large and maybe a daily spread. If I don't need as much space, um, I might pop that in there. So we'll see, we have those. And then I've got um, an open pack, some pages left from the calendar stickers for the Carpe Diem A5 size, and these boxes are the exact size for the A5 calendar insert. So I will probably make use of some of these. All right, so we're gonna head into the planner and pull out my August insert. Now, a lot of times what I do um, when a month is coming up is I'll stick a bunch of sticky notes just with some upcoming dates that I don't wanna forget um, before I actually do my plan with me's. And then I'll also consult my phone just in case um, there are things that I put in there that I forgot to put on a sticky note. So I'll just remove those sticky notes that have dates and things or appointments that I may want to remember or plug into the calendar spread. So I'm gonna set those to the side here and we'll just remove the August month on two pages from the planner to make it a little easier to work with and we will get started. All right, so as these are undated, Step number one always has to be adding in the dates where they'll go. And from there, I can see what boxes don't need to be utilized. And then I can use those strictly for deco and for um, whatever I might want to do in terms of a theme. And then I can start plugging in appointments. And then that would, again, leave me some room still for additional deco. So I usually do this in multiple steps, all starting, of course, with dating the boxes. So I'll go ahead and do that and most likely speed this up for you so you don't have to watch me filling in numbers. All right, so August is one of those tricky months where you have to figure out 
essentially where you're going to start because this year the first of August falls on a Saturday so I could put that there but then I'd literally be losing this entire week of calendar boxes now that would be fine in terms of decoration purposes but then what would end up happening is I'd run out of space and because there are 31 days in August if I were to start the 1st of August here, it would only bring me to Saturday the 29th and I'd be missing two whole calendar days. So I'd have to decide if I want to have the entire month visible and how would I go about doing that or would I want to end it on the 29th and then in my September spread have August 30th and 31st on that. I'm not a fan of losing some of the days but then again when you look at October 20 or rather August 29th falling on a Saturday the 30th is a Sunday and the 31st is a Monday so where am I most likely going to require the most amount of appointments and chances are it's going to be on the weekdays whether those are work related appointments whether they're family related appointments so I want to get as many weekdays in as possible so it would be rather silly to lose all of these boxes and have them blank just for decoration and then start August the 1st here. So an alternate solution I think for this will be to refer to my July calendar for August the 1st and 2nd. I'll repeat August the 2nd here on the Sunday and then go from here the 3rd. That way I will be able to make it to the end of the month and I'll have most of my weekday boxes available for important appointments or other things that will be happening during the week. So I'm going to go ahead and pop in those calendar box numbers and I'll likely speed this up for you so you don't have to watch me filling in numbers. All right, so having done it this way, I now have five empty boxes which lead into the beginning of September. So that's an aesthetic choice that I had to make. I could plop in the first few days of September in here, but I think what I'd rather do is use this space for some decoration or some inspirational stickers, that kind of thing. And so just knowing that I'm starting this weekly spread on August the 2nd, which is a Sunday, and for that one first day in August, which is a Saturday, I'll plug it into my current July because it is a Saturday, so unlikely that I will need to be putting in a lot of appointments on the Saturday. So that's the sacrifice I made to make this all fit and not lose some calendar days in August. I really do like to see as much of the month as possible on this calendar spread. So now that I've gotten in the actual dated boxes, the next step is to then kind of decide in terms of a theme and how much space I have to decorate. I am going to start looking through my sticker packs and making some decisions as to either a theme or a look or an aesthetic that I might want. All of these inserts have this sort of watercolor theme here, very pastel, very light, so it is kind of neutral. And with the sticker packs that I showed you, I can definitely make it work. I just have to really decide on an overall theme. Once I get some deco going, I can then go ahead and plug in my most important appointments. Usually I do the appointments first. This time I really think I'm going to just jump in and do the deco and then add the details later. So I'll probably speed this process up for you just a tad and then I'll talk you through it as I get some ideas. All right, so just to give you a sense of where my mind's at right now as I am starting to get some stickers on there is I think the theme, I'm gonna have to fix this. I always do this. I get it on Crooked and, and I just can't rest until it's straight. So the theme that I am kind of looking at right now or that I'm trying to achieve is sort of this um, idea of hard work 
for August. I do have a lot of things happening in August in terms of the various income streams that I have, not to mention my first physical product launch, which is of course the Own the Day Planner, entire series, beta testing with the physical planner and the printables. So it's kind of a big deal. And so uh, what came to me first was the sticker for good vibes. I really want it to be a good vibe month. It's summer still, it's my favorite season, um, but of course get stuff done. And the sort of like mustard yellow was popping out. So then I found in the Peter Popper pack, this um, little sort of arrow flag that says grit and grace. And I thought that was really fitting. So that's where my mind is right now. So you'll probably see some of this mustard yellow, even though it doesn't go great with this pastel pink, um, you know, I'll make it work. And it's just something that um, is brewing in my mind. So sometimes I have a theme for my month and that will be reflected as much as possible in my monthly spread. So I'm gonna keep at it and see what comes up. All right, so what I decided to do is grab a little box sticker from the Happy Planner Botanical Florals. It's in this really pale mint green. Uh, it's showing up fairly well. And um, I just trimmed it to size. Yes, there were lines in this column, but I want specifically this for it to be a to-do list for the month, and then I'll see what I'll use these lines for. And then I decided to cover up the word um, notes here, and I'm going to write in to-do. Um, I haven't chosen which ink I'm going to use there, but I'll have the words to-do there so that it relates specifically to this box. And as I'm moving forward, I can really see that it's sort of like I get it done, but it's cheerful and still summer type of vibe, if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to keep on going at it here. I found this um, big plan sort of clear sticker here. And again, it's got that mustard yellow type. And I think that's fairly fitting since I am launching the planner in August. So it is a big month. It's something I've been working on for a really long time. I have my beta testers all waiting on a wait list to be the first to get their advanced copies. So, um, oh, by the way, if you do want to be a beta tester, um, I do have a few spots left. We are officially launching really, really soon. I think the first physical planners to my beta testers will ship out probably by mid-August. So by the time you're watching this, there might be a few spots left. So I'll link that in the description below. Just take a look for the link to follow to get your name on the beta tester list so that you will be the first to know when spots open up. I've got several people on a waiting list right now. So I'm popping that in there as a celebratory sticker for the month of August. Big plans. And let's see, what else can we add? I can definitely use the Celebrate stickers. Those are in gold though, so I'm not sure I want to be mixing in gold. I'm kind of liking this mustard yellow theme here. So we shall see. And what else do we have here? Aha, another mustard yellow, um, little sort of thin washi. It says, put your heart into it. And I think that is really cute and totally fitting for this particular month. So I think I'll go ahead and place that. Let me see. Maybe I want to put it right under this other decorative washi. There we go. Some more inspiration for me there. Next up. I feel like the planners are probably going to sh ship out around the 17th, but I'll only have confirmation um, from my printer once the initial order gets done when my beta testers do their pre-order purchasing. So I don't want to put any sticker to reflect that just yet since I'm not certain the actual ship date, but it'll be somewhere around there that mid-August week but I do want to have some sort of celebratory stickers here. It is kind of a celebration month and I'm thinking I want to do something with these really awesome 
feathers here. Maybe I'll just put a little one there, just kind of floating onto the page. And put a few of these that kind of match the colors of um, the actual insert that have these pastels on them and some blues as well. I like the idea of adding some on the inner parts where the rings are. I think that's super cute. I have this vision of doing something for a fall one where I would have all little fall leaves in here. So hopefully I can make that vision a reality when it comes time to do fall spreads. So what else? Well, this little alarm clock, <laughs> tiny little alarm clock sticker from the um, Carpe Diem Good Vibes sticker set. The reason I want to put this here is that again, this project of mine, launching the Own the Day Productivity Planner, started a long time ago. It started almost two years ago. And, you know, I've had bumps in the road along the way. I've had to put things off for various reasons. And now that it's finally happening, I feel like the alarm clock is just a really cute reminder that it is time. It is time to move ahead with this project. It's finally happening. So, I want to add just a tad more before we start plugging in appointments and it's going to get really full in here. So let's see, what else can we do to celebrate the month of August being exciting as it is for me? Let's see. Well, I do like this really tiny one again from that mini Good Vibes mini stickers. This little tiny banner says, make it happen so tiny i'm not even sure you'll be able to see that and that's reflecting um, in the light and actually instead of you know what putting the to do word there i'm going to put make it happen and that's going to be the message for the to-do list so whatever is on there has to get done in august so i have plenty of ideas of what can go there never um at a shortage for to-do list items that is for sure so I am also really a fan of these cute little pencils. So they have these little adorable pencil stickers. And so I think I'm gonna put one right here just to separate the space between to-do list and whatever else is gonna end up going there. And let's see, what else can we do? I really wanna pretty this up before I start plugging in all kinds of stuff with my appointment stickers. I like this little tiny little banner flag that says this is happening and I'm going to put it right here. I'm just kind of layering those three stickers there. A little bit of a layered look. So it is so tiny and that went on crooked. So let me fix that. <laughs> Actually, they're both kind of crooked. So you know what? I'm going to leave it. <laughs> it's maybe looking for progress, not perfection here. Although I do get a little bit um, annoyed when my stickers aren't on straight, but hey, you know what? Um, I'm going to appreciate this month. Crooked stickers or not. What else? Let's see. Do we have any fun sayings? I think I'll go with the white ones since it's black typing on white. There is nothing like a dream to create the future. Well, that is really fitting. I've had this planner launch dream of mine for quite a while, so I'm happy that it is finally coming. So should I put this down here? I kind of like the look of that. I can actually start it where the rings are. I think that would look interesting. And line it there. Or I'm going to have to center it because I want it to end cleanly on this here. So there we go. There is nothing like a dream to create the future. And I feel like it would be interesting to have some quotes sort of at the bottom of these boxes, just every once in a while, just like a random sentence in the middle of the monthly spread. That's not something I've ever done before. Not in the actual calendar, usually it'd be here or in the sides or in the ring area. So let's do something interesting like that. Let's find another one. Hmm. How about um, ordinary people can do extraordinary things. 
And why don't I put that during the week where I believe that the first shipment of beta planners we will ship out to the beta testers for Own the Day Productivity Planner. So there we go. Ordinary people can do extraordinary things. All right, definitely going to add a little more deco, but I think for now I'm ready to start plugging in appointments and then I will go back in and finalize the actual final spread. All right, first step to plugging in appointments um, is a really easy one. I'm gonna actually plug in the things that are repetitive in my week, such as um, when my YouTube videos are being published. So that's every Tuesday and Friday, oh, sorry, every, yeah, every Tuesday and Friday. <laughs> and then um, on top of that is my podcast episodes, which release every Wednesday. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop in a little sticker icon that I made of my podcast cover art. If you didn't already know, I'm host of Raise Your Frequency podcast. This is a weekly podcast that's dedicated to all things entrepreneurship. And so if you are an entrepreneur, a solopreneur, a side hustler, or anything in between, then this is a great show for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop in um, a podcast representative sticker here for each of the Wednesdays. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop in the YouTube stickers on Tuesdays and Fridays. So I will speed this up for you to help you out here and not make you watch me place painfully stickers on every single box. All right, now that we've got the YouTube videos and the podcast episode stickers on there, I'm gonna go ahead and put any appointments that I know we have. Okay, so I've gone ahead and put in the appointment stickers that I know I need. So typically when I have some sort of conference call that I know of, whether it's work related or whether it's a volunteer committee that I'm on, because we're very much doing everything virtually these days, those types of appointments are represented by these little smartphone sticker icons that I design and printed out on just ordinary white sticker paper. So I've got a few of those there. I've put in the pet appointment, a bill that I have to pay. I've got two sort of celebrations, family related. I have a baptism and another family event. So I've represented those by um, little present icons. And then um, I put a personal appointment of my own, a hair appointment, so those kinds of things. This will get a lot more filled up as time goes by, especially on the side column here. Um, and the other thing that I don't wanna to forget to do is um, in terms of invoicing. Now I do do a lot of work where I invoice specific clients at certain times in the month. So I typically have sort of two billing cycles, if you will. So I usually represent those by these little sort of receipt stickers. They're very tiny. I kind of just designed them and printed them out myself. So I typically will go ahead and put those in the boxes where I know I will have a billing cycle or where I'll have to bill certain batches of clients. So I'll go ahead and put those on the dates in question for the month of August. And so I think that represents the bulk of the icon stickers that I would use for this month. And I still have some space for decorating. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and fill up just a little bit more with the sort of high vibe mustard yellow type um, feel that I'm going for here. And we'll see what it looks like when I'm done putting a little more decoration on there. All right, so I think I'm gonna stop there for now. I ended up adding in a few extra stickers. I decided to not forget my love for coffee and I went ahead and added in a few little 
uh, stickers here, coffee themed. We have a little stack of coffee cups. This is from the Own the Day Planner Coffee is Life uh, sticker sheet collection. I think this is sheet F. Um, these are the glossy version. And then here is the little coffee stain sticker from that same collection. And then from that Jim Holtz, I put make it happen. And on this side, I went with a mustard sticker one day at a time with again, some coffee related stickers. Again, from the Own the Day Planner, Coffee is Life. This is the four by six. I've sliced it in half just to make some space. Um, and this is the glossy version of those stickers. You can of course print them on matte paper as well. So I'm going to stop there and of course start filling in all the details. This is gonna get really filled up um, as we get closer to August. And then of course, throughout the month, things are gonna change, things are gonna get added in. It up looking very very full so that's it for this video i hope you've enjoyed watching me prepare for my august two page spread maybe that's given you some ideas for your own august decoration and spread in your very own planner so don't forget to check below if you want to be part of the beta launch of own the day productivity planner which is a planner that I've been wanting to launch and I'm really excited about. And if you've enjoyed this video, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to the channel. I produce a lot of these videos at least two a week, all things planner related. And also hopefully you'll give this video a big old thumbs up. I'd so appreciate that. And until our next planning adventure, bye for now.